Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to create a Google Cloud storage bucket and upload an object into the bucket using a Terraform in GCP. For that, I have opened the Terraform registry page and we will use this Google storage bucket and this uh, Google storage bucket object resource blocks. And uh, here I have opened my Visual Studio code and I created a GCP project in my PC and I just drag and drop this folder inside this my Visual Studio code and inside this folder I created GCS folder and inside this GCS folder I have two files main.tf and provider.tf but for now there is nothing inside these two files so uh, we'll start with the provider.tf. We'll copy the provider and here we'll copy use provider in Terraform registry page. I'm gonna copy this and drag and drop here Terraform. And for the configuration options, we need the configuration first, and the foremost is the project. Of course, without project, uh, we cannot make it so. You have to go to your Google Cloud Console. I'm going to go to my Google Cloud Console and here my first project. I have two projects, my first project and Terraform. Let's take, let's choose a Terraform and then let's click this, let's just copy the ID of this Terraform project and then just paste it here. And we don't need any space inside this project. So after you after you copy and paste your project, we need a region and zone. Region we can say US Central One, and then for zone, zone we can say US Central One A. And we will not use the credentials, service account credentials. Instead, we will use GCloud application default login. Let me show you what I mean. Here, if you go to Google Provider Configuration Reference. Here it says uh, for authentication part. So there is a primary authentication. You can go and read about this. We will use this gcloud auth application default login. Or in this case, we'll not need any credentials. So I'm going to open my terminal and I'm inside my GCP projects and I will paste this gcloud auth application default login and click enter. And you see that it's opening the my account, Gmail account. Choose the Gmail account that you are using with GCP. So I'm going to choose my account and saying to allow. Yeah, I'm going to allow it. Now it's done. So it says you are now authenticated with Gcloud CLI. I can click the X button and I can now start uh, working on my project. So we are done with the provider.tf and here on the terminal, I'm going to go my GCS project, CD, GCS, and we are in the GCS directory now. So I'm going to go to my main.tf. We'll start with the Google storage bucket in Terraform registry page. When you come here, it shows some examples. We will go to argument reference and we'll need the name and location required. So um, I'm going to open my VS Code main.tf and write resource. Inside this resource, I'll say Google storage bucket. Okay. And we'll give some name. It should be GC, we can say GCS1. And uh, for inside this resource block, Google storage bucket block, I'm going to give the name, name, for example, bucket from Terraform, for example, bucket from Terraform. And we will have to specify the location also. And there, are, there is a good uh, trick you can use. I think if you, are, if you are not about this, you can press the control and space and you will see this kind of arguments. Uh, suggested arguments and you can use it for now we'll use location location it should be we can we can select the us central one for now uh, you can choose uh, up to your choice and we'll also need the storage class let me go storage class here it should be 
and we can start with the standard. You can choose near line, cold line, or archive based on based your preferences. You can also mention labels. For example, it should be K here and value, right? Value. Let's say K1 and value 1. And let's say K2 and value 2. After levels, we can also provide the uniform bucket level access. By default, uh, cloud storage use fine grained access level. So uh, the uniform bucket level access is by default false. Uh, we're going to make it true. So this is all, a, I think this is for now, this is enough for a cool storage packet. And if we want to upload an object inside this our bucket, we can also make it. Let's do it at the same time without wasting a lot of time. Okay, let's create a resor another resource block with uh, Google storage bucket object. And in this case, be careful not to choose this bucket. We are we need to choose the object and for the name i will say for example we'll upload the picture or let's say photo and i'm going to name it uh, if you are not familiar with this google storage bucket object you can go to the documentation here as you can see google storage bucket inside terraform registry page and you can go to argument reference and say the required the bucket and name is required so you can also check the other arguments here so for now since i know it's i'm just use i'm just trying i'm just continuing to type without showing you the page so we'll give the name of for example random photo random photo and for the bucket we need to specify bucket and our bucket name is google storage bucket gcs gcs1 and dot name all right and then we can also specify the source uh, for that we need to we need to upload a random photo let me go to downloads on my uh, pc and i'm going to drag and drop inside this gcs folder you can see simple devops and i'm going to mention it here there is a source argument and inside this source argument we can give the name of this random.png all right i think we are done so we can start with terraform init and it's now initializing let's wait a bit I can also show you my Google Cloud uh, storage. You, you can see, uh, let me go. Here's some projects here. Uh, so we'll refresh it. You see, these are the default uh, buckets that I have created uh, already uh, before. So our, our bucket is not available for now. I'm going to say Terraform plan. And finally, Terraform apply. And I'm going to say yes. Sure. Now it's creating and uh, saying the requested bucket name is not available. So let's choose another name bucket from Terraform 1, for example, or from uh, DevOps, from simple DevOps. Simple DevOps. It should be globally unique. So let's change this also. GCS1, GCS. Uh, let's choose another one. Bucket from Simple DevOps. And then let's apply again. Apply. And... And then we need to change it here. We need to change the name because we change it. Let me change it. Bucket from simple devops dot name. Uh, 
and then name. So let me apply it again. Yes. So it's creating our bucket now. Yeah, it's apply complete or Google storage bucket is now created. Uh, let me check it uh, and we'll go to our Google Cloud storage and then refresh it. We can see bucket from Terraform uh, from simple DevOps. We can delete the other packets for now because it's, uh, you might confuse it. So this is our bucket from Terraform Simple DevOps. You can see the, the created date and time. Location is a region. Location type is a region. The, lo the location is US Center 1. And the storage class is standard. And you can see it's the public access, not public. Access control is uniform since we mentioned it. And when you click this bucket, you will see the object that we uh, uploaded, random photo. And you can see the configuration, permission, protection, lifecycle. We can also create a lifecycle if you want. But since we created the basic Terraform Google storage packet, and you can see the, the authenticated URL, simple DevOps here, the photo, and the object we uploaded. So this is all about it. And thank you very much. And see you in the next videos.